Okay, so we've spoken about the three degree error. And I've spent hours and hours thinking about why on earth would a manufacturer as big as still have a three degree error? Okay, so we set it to uh, 30 degrees and we've got 32.9, all right? So it's more aggressive by three degrees, so that's not a bad thing, but certainly not really good on uh, hedge trimmers that are only seven degrees or 10 degrees. So I just want to keep that in mind that 30 degrees on here is the same as 60 degrees on an Oregon grinder. But as we tilt this over more, it gets more and more aggressive. Still recommend 40 degrees on all their chains, whether they're RS or RM, except for Hexa. So 40 degrees on a USG grinder, and we'll just put it at 40 degrees. All right, so there's our 40 degrees. That is the true 40 degrees, right? And it's actually showing 40 degrees. 40.5. I don't know whether you can see that. Just see whether you can see it. There it is there. Now that's on my mark that I've made. And the marks that I've made are on the back here. All right. Little black texture, little black mark. I center punched it and put a bit of black text and I put this stainless steel plate. There's three scribe marks on it. But if you go to the original marking. Okay, so there's the original mark on the bottom. So that's lined up uh, from the factory, but it's three degrees out. I've got to move it up an additional three degrees to that black mark, and that is the true zero degrees. So that's the little modification you need to do on the back plate. Mark it with either a texture or center punch Whatever you want to do, just mark it and you'll be at the correct mark. Okay, so we've got a three degree error. Now that three degree error, I think I finally worked out how to reckon my brains out for the last couple of years. I found it difficult that still engineers would make an error of three degrees based on all the other products that they make. You think... I've got Chinese uh, grinders that don't have three degree error. So why am I finding a three degree error? There must be a reason for it. And as I said, it's taken me almost three years to figure this out. And the reason that there's an error, this is my belief, is because of the offset grinding. And... What I mean by the offset grinding, that if we actually look at a steel USG grinder and we zoom right in there, we have a pivot point on here. And the bolt for the pivot point is right where this black line moves here. So it pivots on this point. But the tooth, the point of the tooth is about 17 millimetres past that pivot point. So when you move the top plate, Look how far that tooth moves. That tooth moves across the face of the wheel by quite a lot. When you move this into 25 degrees here, that moves across the face of the grinder by about 12 millimetres. And what that actually does is change the geometry of the top plate cutting angle, which is the A scale, and it changes the top plate angle as well, which is this scale. Now, I do have a video, a little short video that I'll put on the end of this that will show you how the Jolly Star has an offset of 2.5 degrees for the top plate cutting angle, 
and the top plate. The adjustment is there. So because you've got 17 millimeters here, plus if you look at the USG chart, right, you look at the USG chart and do the setting up for full chisel or semi-chisel, it's the same. So we did that and we got a, a surprising result. So we'll put a slide up here at the moment. Now, when you look at that slide, you'll see that it's got 25 degrees, right? So we set the A scale, which is a top plate cutting angle, on the original mark. We set to 25 degrees for a left-hand cutter. The B scale, which is a sliding vice, we set that as per the USG chart minus 15 degrees on that one and the c scale we set that on 25 degrees and the result on the original mark on the back plate was 25 degrees spot on so the reason that they got three degrees offset on the back plate on the top plate cutting angle is because you've also got 17 degrees, 17 millimetres, I should say, offset on here. So what's happening here, the 17 millimetres offset on here will compensate for the three degrees offset there. So that's what they had to do, a bit of a balance between one scale and the other scale. And you can actually see it quite easily because, as I said, if we zoom in, that black mark on there is the centre pivot point, and there's the tooth, the end of the tooth there. It's about 17 millimetres. And that 17 millimetre offset, when you move this, you can see that the tooth moves from side to side. It doesn't stay in the one spot. It moves to the left and moves to the right by a considerable amount, approximately 12 millimetres when you set the scale on about 30 uh, degrees. So I'm pretty sure that I solved the problem why you've got a three degree error. I knew there had to be a reason, could not find it on any of the forums or anything. And what we'll do now is attach another video where you can actually see the offset by two and a half degrees for the top plate uh, cutting angle on the Jolly Star and two and a half degrees on here. So offset grinding uh, can do a lot of things to the geometry. And that's the reason why I still have got the three degree error on the back. Or let's just say it's three degrees from the horizontal position. Let's put it that way. I hope you enjoy uh, the little part that's on the end. And... Uh, Thanks for watching, and comments are always welcome. Okay, if you actually look at the Jolly Star, you'll see it's got two marks, 10 degrees down and zero angle. So when you do 10 degrees down with tilt, it changes the geometry. And that's why you've got an offset there of about two and a half degrees. So this is a top plate cutting angle, and the top plate angle has exactly the same. You'll see that offset there. If you look in the front, you'll see the three notches and you'll see down 10 on the left side. And if we go to the right side, we'll just get the lever out of the way. And you'll see on that side where it's got 10 degrees down. So the reason that they're doing that is because any time that you have 10 degrees down with tilt, you lose a little bit off the top plate cutting angle and you lose a little bit off the top plate angle, roughly about two and a half degrees. So this is why the steel USG grinder has a three degrees offset on the uh, back plate there, top plate cutting angle, because of that reason.